Welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, we'll discuss the basic sequence, methods, and precautions of piping prefabrication. This video will help you understand how to read fabrication notes, identify field welds, and prepare each spool correctly. Let's go through the fabrication description step by step. Please make sure you read all the notes carefully. If you don't understand anything, don't hesitate to ask your supervisor. I'll read and explain the relevant fabrication notes only. All dimensions are in millimeters. All vents and drains are to be site welded. Note number 8 is very important, wherever field welds are indicated, an extra length of 150 mm must be added to the pipe. This extra length allows for site adjustment. This means that wherever you see the FFW mark, add 150 mm to that pipe length. FFW stands for Field Fit Up Weld. For example, as per the drawing, the length of spool number E1 is 802 mm. But since it has an FFW mark, you must add 150 mm extra. So, the total pipe length will be 802 plus 150 is equal to 952 mm. Likewise, add 150 mm to every pipe wherever you see the FFW symbol. Mark number 1. The pipe is bevel-ended, schedule 20, and seamless. Item number 2 is a 45 degree but welded long radius elbow. Item number 3 is a 90 degree long radius elbow. Item number 4 is a weld neck raised face flange, rated at 150 pounds. The remaining items are not important for prefabrication. Fabricate each spool as shown in the drawing, and don't forget to add the extra 150 mm wherever required. That's all for this video on piping prefabrication basics. Follow these steps carefully to ensure proper fit up and easy site erection. Thank you for watching Technical Studies. Please like, share, and subscribe for more piping and fabrication lessons.